Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're making a tier list of the natural numbers. Uh, if you enjoy the video, make sure you give it a like. If I get enough likes on this video, I'll be doing a ranking of all the transcendental numbers. It'll be pretty exciting stuff. All right, let's get into this. Uh, make sure you stick around until Aleph not. I think it's going to surprise you how that one gets ranked. All right, starting off with zero. Zero is a great support number. Um, it's got a really powerful ultimate in its multiplication, but um, other than that, not too not too strong. We're going to give this a, a B tier. Up next is the number one. Number one, the granddaddy of all natural numbers. You can make any natural number from one. Uh, you know, superpower is its self-addition property. It's basically like the Shang Tsung of natural numbers. I got to give it S tier. Number two, uh, pretty good. It's got some unique properties. You know, the only even prime. Uh, we'd like to think that powers of two are pretty important. So this is a pretty cool one. Um, I'll give it a solid B tier as well. Three, I think, is really overrated. Uh, it seems like a lot of the inherent power of three uh, comes from superstition and stuff like that. It's a prime, but um, it doesn't really have much going for it other than that. It has a, a convenient div divisibility rule, but um, I just don't think it really does anything too special. We're going to give that a C tier. Four, two plus two, two times two, two to the power of two. I don't think there's another number that's got so many sweet combos. Um, we're going to have to give this an A tier. That's pretty cool. Five, another prime number, another odd prime number. Got a good divisibility rule, but I'm going to have to give this something higher than three uh, simply because it's so easy to count in multiples of five. Six, oh, perfect. Nothing else to be said. Seven, Kind of similar to three in some sense. Um, it seems like a lot of people overrate this just based on superstition. I don't really see anything terribly interesting about number seven. Um, we're going to give it a C. All right, so there's something about number seven that I forgot to mention, probably because it, we're doing a tier list for the natural numbers. I really shouldn't speak too much about the rational expansion that we got a really long time ago. But if you want to talk about dividing by the number seven, it's got to be the most confusing thing for your opponents ever. Uh, if you think of all the numbers from 1 up to 12, you think about reciprocals of those, they're so straightforward. You want to divide by 7 and do the decimal expansion, I got no idea what's going on. So maybe we could have reevaluated 7, given it another boost in power here. But um, I think strictly speaking, if we're sticking just to the naturals, I think it's pretty good where it is. Number 8. Okay, so we've got our first cube. That's kind of nice. Powers of two, we seem to like for some reason. Um, all around decent number. You can't go can't go wrong with an eight choice. Number nine. Um, I've got to put this around the same par as three. Um, I mean, it's a square. That's all right. It's three times three. It's got basically the same divisibility rule as three. Um, I just don't really see anything else that's special about number nine. Ten. Probably the easiest divisibility rule in the world, right? Uh, just for that, we're going to give it an A tier. Can't go wrong with a good 10 pick. And there's a reason that we use 10 as the most common base of our numbers. 11 is a great number as well. Um, you know, it's got a, an underrated divisibility rule. Multiplication by 11 is pretty easy for, for small numbers. Um, and I like all the tricks you can play with dividing by 11 and that kind of thing. We're going to give that a solid B tier. 12, uh, highly factorizable number, um, but other than that, I don't really see anything anything too special about it. Okay, 13. I could make a whole video on the number 13 itself. Um, I wish I could give two different ratings for number 13 here. One based on its actual power and abilities, which is nothing terribly good. You know, I'd probably put 13 in D tier based on its actual actual power. But in terms of its perceived power, when people come across 13 in the wild, it just totally throws them off, right? Just the fact that choosing 13 is in itself a really strong ability. But I think the way I'm going to go here is uh, based on its actual powers. It's a prime, but that's really all it's got going for it. 14, typical semi-prime, nothing too special. Can't think of any reason why I'd really want to play with 14. Um, yeah, nothing fun, nothing powerful. In fact, 15, pretty much about the same, right? Not too much difference between 14 and 15 as far as I'm concerned. 
16. This is another number we got to give a lot of credit to. Um, 16 is a fourth power that comes before any other third powers have even arrived. Like, insane. Um, it's probably a really convenient base to work in as well. You know, a lot of stuff works on base 16. I got to give it some credit for that. Number 17. Okay, so we've got ourselves a typical prime number. Don't really see anything too special about it. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Don't have a lot of fun playing around with 17. 18. Um, I don't really see anything too special about this either. Um, yeah. What can we say about 18? I don't know. Let's just wing it. Let's give that a C. 19. <sighs> Another prime number. Um, does 19 have any special features? I don't really think so. I don't know. Subpar number. Not really interested in that. 20 is just a good solid all-round number. You know, you can't really go wrong with a 20 choice. Um, it's kind of a power number. It's easy to count in multiples of 20. Um, you can count up to 100 pretty nicely in terms of 20. It's good for figuring out, uh, you know, arithmetic for numbers on the order of 100 or so. Yeah, we'll give that a B tier. 21, another semi-prime. Does it have any special features? I don't know. Um, it's, I'm probably stuck between uh, B and C tier on 21. I think we're overloaded on C tier. Maybe we'll just give this a B. Good number. Okay, nothing special. 22. Don't really see any difference between 22 and 21, to be honest, right? Just another semi-prime. Uh, goodness, any anything fun to do with 22? There's a song named after it. Let's put it into B tier. Great. 23, odd prime number. What else has it got going for it? I don't know. Huh. We're going to have to go C tier on this one. 24. 24 is a cool number. There are so many factors going on that make 24 a great number. We're going to have to give that an A tier. 25, another number with a lot of convenience. Perfect square. Easy to count in multiple of 25. I use 25 all the time when I'm trying to figure out approximately how big a number is in the, the several hundreds. Yeah, 25 is a good one. 26, another, uh, another semi-prime number here. I think there's just too much association with 13 that we got going on. We're going to have to give that a D tier. No one likes 26. 27. Okay, so here's the thing I like about 27. It's a cube, um, but it's a bigger cube than I feel like it has any right to be, you know? The third cube, we're already, we skipped over all the teens in our cubes. We're all the way up into the late 20s. I think that's just, that's just like some power in itself. We're going to go with A tier for number 27. 28, oh, baby, perfect. 29, nothing too special about this, except that it's an age everyone likes to claim to be. Let's give it a solid B tier. Number 30. Uh, yeah, I just don't see anything about 30. Is there anything fun about it? Any powers? Any special abilities? I don't think so. we got to give this a solid C tier. Just nothing crazy, but you're not going to hurt yourself too much with a 30 choice. 31. Probably going to have to go with uh, something similar to 30 here, right? Um, yeah, I don't see any reason why 31 should be considered too much more special than 30. It's got the prime going for it, but I don't know. Sometimes I can work against you, you know what I mean?